Hi everyone, my name is Madeline and for those of you who do not know, I was born 10 weeks early without my left arm. One of my most popular questions that I get whenever I'm talking to schools or groups of people in general is, hey Madeline, can you drive? And my answer is always, yes, I can drive and I drive just like any other person. Except for I look a little cooler doing it. <laughs> when I first started driving, my parents had actually put a ball on their steering wheels and their cars to help me be able to turn a little bit easier. And I thought that I would have that for the rest of my life and put that in my car. But the more that we looked into it, if I relied on that ball, specifically when I went to go take my driver's test in the future, in any car that I would have to drive in the future, that ball would have to be on my steering wheel so if we went and got a rental car I would have to have the ball in the steering wheel and so we decided whenever I got my own car to not have the ball when I was learning how to drive and now I don't see myself ever using it again yes I could put it back in my car but I've chosen not to we also talked about putting the blinkers on the opposite side of where my hand is so on the right side opposed to the left and however the more we looked into it we found out that you actually break the warranty of the car whenever you do that and we chose to just keep them where they are and now I don't have any problem turning on my blinkers as you can see I mostly keep my hand to the left side of my steering wheel this is so I have easy access to turn on my blinkers or um, just for stability because I don't have a left arm I just tend to grab the steering wheel on the left I never hold it on the bottom I just don't feel like if I have control that way yeah and I feel like the hardest thing for me when I'm driving is if I'm turning around a right curve and I also have to turn on my blinkers because I'm turning onto another street because my hand would be over here and I'm, my blinkers are all the way over there in that case I just kind of have to quickly hit it before I turn around the curve or keep a pretty good control on the steering wheel but even that is kind of minor problem and it doesn't happen too often whenever I talk to schools and groups of people I always share this funny story when I went to go take my driver's test the test giver I'll tell you this beforehand, he noticed that my blue shoes that I had on that day matched my blue Honda Fit that I have. He told me that before we went and took the test. And we're going around, driving around, taking our test, and this guy, every time that I turned the corner, he was marking down on his piece of paper. Anytime I went to turn on my blinkers, he was marking down on his piece of paper. And I really had no idea what I was doing wrong. My mom had actually hired a driving instructor prior to me taking my driver's test to make sure that I was doing everything properly with one arm. And I was literally so confused why he was writing down whatever I was doing wrong. And about towards the end of the test, the test giver, he asked me to pull over. And we've already pulled over again, so I was a little confused. So this was the second time pulling over onto the side of the road. And he says, ma'am, what's wrong with your left arm? <laughs> Little did this guy know that I didn't have one arm. And I told him, I explained that I was born without it. And he flung his head around to like look to see if I actually had one arm. And he was just, his mind was completely blown that I had one arm when I was driving. And he told me that he was marking me down for not doing hand over hand turns or putting my blinkers on incorrectly but after that he flipped his little notebook piece of paper and said ma'am you're a great driver for having one arm and I passed my test so it's just still like confuses me how he realized that I had blue shoes on that day and it matched my blue car but literally missed the factor that I had one arm and it wasn't like I was wearing a baggy t-shirt or even a long sleeve shirt it was a pretty tight uh, shirt that I had on that day but yeah so that's my <laughs> driving story I guess you could say that's pretty funny and uh, yeah I really haven't had any problems running into driving with one arm and I can do it just like everyone else so I hope you guys learned something new about how I live life with one arm and if you guys have any other questions or want to see future videos, leave them in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!